Hi, I'm Rita Gardner. I'm the director at the Royal Geographical Society with the Institute of British Geographers. I've been asked to give my views on how is Britain changing. It might be easier to say how is Britain not changing, because in fact the whole of Britain continues to change and has done for centuries. But how is it changing today? Well, you can think of this in terms of how is the environment changing. And here there are a number of examples around biodiversity or it may be around extreme events um, such as those, uh, the flooding in Cumbria um, is, is just one of those extreme events. And the questions we have to ask are where, where is our environment changing and which parts of Britain are feeling the greatest change. We're also changing socially. Uh, an example here would be migration, the makeup of communities is changing through internal migration as people move for jobs or they move to go to college and also from international migration whether that's from the European Union or whether it's from further afield including refugees and those migrating to seek work. We're changing economically too um, from the days of hard heavy industry have long gone uh, Britain has recently shut its last coal mine and its last steelworks. Instead, we have high-end manufacturing. We're manufacturing more than ever before in terms of income, um, but it's different. We're man manufacturing pharmaceuticals, for example. Um, also, economically, we're changing because we've become uh, much more of a service economy um, and an economy that's based around the knowledge economy and the creative industries. Now, these aren't found all over Britain, so do you see them in your area? Um, are they affecting you and your community? And lastly, we can say that Britain is changing politically too, whether that's the debate about the European Union and our role within it, or whether that's about the appointment and the, ele the election of local mayors. We've just appointed a new mayor in London. And his issues, and many of them are very geographical issues, so the one that's probably at the top of his agenda is housing. How are we going to accommodate and provide the extra 500,000 houses and homes that London needs and is going to need over the next 10 years? And how can we make these affordable? And in fact, are they going to be built in your area or in other parts around the capital? So you can take almost any aspect of geography and you can look at how uh, Britain is changing geographically. And none of these changes are spread across the whole of Britain. They all occur to different degrees in different places, locally and regionally. And that's what I'd like you to explore in our Young Geographer of the Year competition. Lots of fun, lots that you can see out there and lots of context that you can find about changes historically too.